My name's Alan Hart and today I'm working in Yeadon in Leeds. I'm actually doing a, we're doing a boiler swap, we're going to take this boiler out here. But while I'm here, I thought I'd do a video showing you how to change your Fernox TF1 and swap it for an Amiga filter. So there's a couple of different ways we can do this and we'll do it now. So just to point out with this filter, this is fully serviceable, so we could totally repair it. But we're putting a new boiler in, so we're going to fit an Amiga filter on this system. We're also going to flush it out with a magnet lens, so our adapter fits on the Amiga filter. So it just makes it easier for us as well for, for flushing the system. So this is the new brass filter from Fernox. So when we look at this, we can see it's the one with the valves. So what we're going to do, I'm going to turn the valves off on this filter and then we're just going to connect this in its place. So if we open the box up on this, we've got a filter, so that filter comes with a 25 year guarantee so it's brass so it's magnet on the inside and it also comes with some valves so if you want to fit the valves you'd have to fully drain the system down and then you could fit the valves for the purpose of this video we're just going to connect this in so to remove this filter all we need to do is close these isolation valves here and then drain this down. We've already isolated the boiler, so there's no water gonna flow through here. And then we just open the valve at the bottom. So the Amiga filter comes with new washers, so we put these new washers in here. So that's the Amiga filter, just connect that in, back in onto the same nuts. And then in your packet you get a drain off and it comes with a washer as well. So we'll just put that in there. I'm just gonna that on bottom. And just tighten it up. So this connection here, it doesn't need to be really tight, it can just be you can just tighten it on a little bit. Because it has a double o-ring in there. Fernox have made it really easy with that. And then all I need to do is turn your isolation valves back on. And then top your boiler back up if you need to put some more pressure in. And turn the power back on. So that's the new Fernox Amiga now installed. One thing, just keep out of your valves, just in case these valves leak in future. And then you've got replacements. Thanks for watching.